Hello, my name is Kees. Uh, as promised this week, another snippet uh, with one of the projects I'm currently uh, working on. And uh, well, most probably I will still be working on it uh, in a new workshop. So I, I would like to share it and it's about this tool. And uh, last week's snippet, uh, there was already a, a, a small peek of it and I got some questions about it, what it is. Oh, and I'm going to show it to you now. Oh, it has everything to do with the square piano I'm restoring and the strings. So I'm going to show you what it's about, how it works, and oh, that's it. The tool is some tool I created myself. Uh, it's made of wood, uh, a spring, and uh, some gear. Uh, well, it has two sides, uh, so it works with different uh, spools. Because I have the, these big ones and small ones. So they're, each size is for a different size of spool. And what this is, these are the strings for the square, the square piano. Uh, well, and as you can see, there's a lot of string on it. And the problem is, if I take off the spring, it will snap off the wheel and I will have spring uh, uh, steel all over the room. And this too is to prevent that from happening. Because if this keeps tension on the string as, uh, all the time, so it won't go flying everywhere. What I do is I take a piece of string and then I use this tool. which is used to tune the piano. Uh, it's an original uh, uh, or well, replica uh, of uh, 1830s uh, Broadwood tuning pin. And the beautiful thing about it is there's also this little hook on the end and that's used for creating the uh, loop on the strings. So let me show you how that works. I bend the string and it's around 10 centimeters i hook it on the end of the tuning tool and then i just start turning the string around itself Like so, cut off the end and make a little adjustment here. And there you go, I have a new string for the piano. Well, I still have to make it to size, which I will do by measuring in the piano how long this st string should be. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is the actual piano I'm working on. It's an 1833 Broadwood and Sons square piano. And I did a full restoration of it. I'll post some pictures of the entire process at the end of the video. Showing uh, where it started, uh, well, how I took it all apart and uh, how I put it together again in the end. And what I'm working on now are putting the new strings back on. I'm doing this using a tool the original builders of the piano did not have, which is a laser measurement tool. And I just look up the desired length for the string. which in this case is one meter and well, more or less five centimeters, which means I should have a string of well, around one meter and 30 centimeters because I also have to uh, keep in mind there is around 25 centimeters of string looped around the tuning pin. I measure the correct length of string again using the laser measurement tool and cut the string off.
Next, I bend the end of the string in a 90 degree angle. This angle is used to put in the hole inside the tuning pin and the excess is cut off. After this I can start rolling the string around the tuning pin a few times. Now the string is ready to be put in the piano. This is done by inserting the tuning pin with a new string in the hole at the top of the piano. After that I use a tuning hammer to wind the string a few more times around the inserted pin until I can put the loop I made at the other end on the pin that's there. Finally, I put the string between the other correct uh, pins and turn the tuning hammer a few more times to add tension on the string. And voila, we have a new working piano string on the square piano. And that's how I use old tools, new tools and homemade tools to restore the strings on my 1833 Broadwood & Son Square Piano. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and see you next week for another snippet of one of my projects. Bye!